Hey everybody, it's a demo from coplock.org. Today I'm going to start a video blog that I hope to do once a week titled Better Than Cops. This idea came to me when folks on the Facebook page of Coplocks decided to suggest we blog about officers doing good things. I'm going to do it a little differently. Better Than Cops is going to highlight incidents where people act like cops should, protect and serve the community, act in the better interest of an individual, and intervene in areas of where there's actually a victim. That being said, let's get into this week's Better Than a Cop story. This week's story comes to you from St. Louis, Missouri, where a 19-year-old man, Dwight A. Brown, decided to rob somebody at gunpoint behind the Imperial Palace nightclub at 2.30 in the morning. An anonymous individual witnessed the beginning of this robbery and decided to intervene. They didn't know the person being robbed. They didn't know Dwight. They weren't a security guard. They had no protection skills whatsoever. They definitely were not a police officer. Nonetheless, they confronted Dwight rustled away the gun, and shot him. The story reports that Dwight died from his, his wounds, but in my opinion, Dwight died from his actions. Dwight decided to use force against a person for personal gain. This created a victim. That victim was being threatened with their life to give up their money or to be shot by Dwight. That was the implication Dwight made. We will never know what motives Dwight had for committing such an act that night. Was it a habit? Was he having hard times? Anything could be possible. What we do know is that the police the ones who are paid by and purport to protect you by putting their lives on the line day in and day out were not there. That if this anonymous and courageous man hadn't stepped in, the police would be filing a report and informing relatives that their loved one had been robbed and murdered, creating a true tragedy. St. Louis seems to have been experiencing several of these acts where individuals have held those committing crimes against them accountable themselves not only allowing justice to be served directly from the victim, but alleviating the cost that comes with the paramilitary police state. That being said, I'd like to thank the unidentified individual who was humble enough to skip the parade and medal ceremony for being a courageous person and the first recipient of a Better Than a Cop award. You've proven to the critics out there that police aren't as helpful as they want us to believe, and for that, we thank you. If you know of a story that is worthy of Better Than a Cop feature, feel free to email us at copblog at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. I'm here to laugh, laugh love, love, fucking drink liquor. And help the damn revolution come quick. Laugh, laugh, love, fucking drink liquor. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm here to laugh, laugh love, love, fucking drink liquor. And help the damn revolution come quicker. Laugh, laugh love, love, fuck, and drink liquor. And maybe make a revolution. Not a stain finna end in fist.